Welcome, we're at EMC World in the iMega booth. I'm Pat Snow, I'm the Director of New Business Initiatives for the Global Solutions Group at EMC. And today we're going to talk about uh, surveillance in the cloud. So typical surveillance uh, deployments today typically use NVRs and DVRs, uh, which are more or less servers that run locally in a facility. And they stream cameras and store video. And uh, they're rather expensive items and also hard to maintain. And customers have problems uh, maintaining them. They usually don't have uh, the right staff in place to do that. And I'm primarily focused on the SMB type market here where you have you know, less than eight cameras or, or so. And uh, we're trying to target that with a new solution, uh, which is cloud-based. And the bottom line is that we can deploy cameras and some of the small iOmega storage devices, which are, of course, much cheaper than the NVRs and DVRs. Uh, they are remotely managed. Uh, there is no interface required by the customer. Uh, they are managed by service uh, uh, solutions integrators and, and uh, security integrators. And what it allows customers to do is bring their video surveillance in an SMB environment up to an enterprise class video surveillance. So let me just show you how it works. We basically deploy cameras like this, a box as well for local storage, and we dual stream from the cameras to both the, the local storage IX platform as well as into the cloud. And the purpose for the local storage is twofold. One, when you have an internet uh, issue and you no longer have access to the internet, you're going to want to still have that video. So you need a local storage box to actually store that video. And, but there's another reason why you want that local box, and it really gets to the time value of data. And so the video surveillance that we're creating right now is more important than the video surveillance in general that was created, say, six months ago. So if your store is being robbed or an incident has happened at your store, you typically know that's happening. And so you want that video at the highest frame rate and the highest quality that you can. So you want to put one of these boxes in there which are very low cost, a few hundreds of dollars, with terabytes of storage that's mirrored, and you have access to that immediately when those incidents occur. However, for long-term duration, you know, maybe for compliance issues, you may have to keep video for 30 days, 180 days. You want to put that out to the cloud, so you're not storing that locally. It's m much safer in the cloud. It's uh, cheaper in the cloud, and from the customer's perspective, it moves his expenses from a CapEx model to an OpEx model. Much easier to budget. So in this screen here, we're showing just the setup of uh, the cameras that we have. So we have four cameras here that we're streaming now, both to this box and also into the cloud. And on the bottom line here, we actually show that the box is in that environment as well. And the nice thing about it is we can stream to the local box at a much different resolution and frame rate than we do it in the cloud and, uh, and leverage that time value of data. And over here it shows what the user interface looks like. So here we have three cameras that are actually here at EMC World, these three here, and one that's actually in Seattle, Washington, looking out at Puget Sound, which is the, the other aspect of cloud surveillance that provides a much easier way to manage the interface. If I'm a, a store owner and I have, say, 10 franchises that I own, I can now view video from all of those franchises on the same screen. So if I want to see what the queue lines are at all of my point of sale operations, I can pull those up on the same screen and I get an indication of how my stores are doing. So that's a, one of the powers of the cloud. So when I want to get to recorded video, and you can, be, you can look at the recordings in one of two ways. One is on a calendar view, and the other is in a listing view. The nice thing about the listing view is I can see a thumb shot of each recorded camera. So as I mouse over these files, I can see what that camera collected at that time, and I can download that now in multiple formats, store it locally, share that through email, or, or, or burn it to a disk. And uh, I have full control of my video surveillance. Always access from anywhere in the world, even on smartphone devices. So I can always have access uh, to the video when I need it. And another thing that the cloud brings to the small business owner that he doesn't normally get with his NVR, DVR solution is this concept of knowing when my system's working. So one of the problems with NVRs and DVRs, when they stop working, typically store owners don't know they're not working. And they only realize that they're not working when they go to find video, look for video and they can't find it. With a cloud-based video uh, surveillance system, when a camera goes down or loses connection or a storage box loses connection, or somebody has moved the video camera so that it changes its, uh, its scene, the store owner as well as the service provider providing the service can get an email or an SMS saying that something has gone wrong and they can address that immediately. They can look online to see exactly what's happened to that environment and they can dispatch people uh, to actually uh, fix that problem. And so 
That, in a nutshell, is basically the, the power of cloud surveillance. It's cheaper, lower co total cost of ownership for the, for the uh, customer. It moves his CapEx expense to an OpEx expense and enables them to have an enterprise class video surveillance uh, solution for an SMB price. Thanks for coming and listening to, uh, to our cloud surveillance story.